I'm the um, essence of a product of, uh, at the age of 17, I was like a 10 plus, just, ooh, Lord Jesus, yes, ooh, would save the world. <coughs> Things happen, and um, I'd say by the age of 24, 26, 28, I was like a negative infinity. <laughs> and um, I read this book uh, called Creating a Prodigal Friendly Church, and it, it said something that's so true, is that we never ask prodigals why they left, you know? We never take into account why did they leave. We think it's their own problem, their own problem. For me, why I left, um, have you ever read a book that was made into a movie? Like maybe a book that you just loved. I was talking to Tim a little bit about Prince Caspian. Um, I had a friend who uh, was a total skeptic and she loved the Da Vinci Code. It was like her favorite book ever. And when she heard it was being made into a movie, she was just chomping at the bit to go see it. And the day it opened, she took the day off of work. And uh, I heard on the radio that one of the uh, commentators on the movie said, if you love the book, don't go see the movie. And uh, that was while she was at it. And she came uh, came back and was like, oh, it's the worst movie ever. And she was just crushed and mad. <laughs> I'm telling you this because this is the book and the church. We as Christians are the movie. And people are watching this. And I have read the book, but as I watched the movie, there was something missing. And it made me so angry and so bitter that I said, screw it, I'm going to go read something else. Mm -hmm. So my challenge to you is, Make it. today and, and this whole week, we're studying a script. We're a bunch of actors in a movie that are adapting this screenplay. And it is our job as actors to be true to the screenplay. So why can I go to church and, and learn how to hone my prophetic skills and learn how to hone my other, uh, how to speak in tongues and interpret, but no one's teaching me love. I want to learn the crane technique. Preach it, brother. Right? And that's why I fell in love with this place, because I think we get it. I think that's why a lot of us are here, is because of the love. We want to be a part of the love. And we want to show the love. We want that crane technique. So, if you want to bring a prodigal home, figure out what love is. Figure out the part of 1 Corinthians 13, patience, kindness, what part you stink at, and ask God to fix that in your life. Become love, abide in love, and the prodigals will be drawn to you. And you'll be able to show them Christ. Thank you. Um, I'm going to end. I was trying to think of what piece to end with, and I think this is the one that God wants me to do. Is, um, in the, the middle of coming back to Christ, my life... Let's just put it this way. I got to the point where I didn't want to live anymore at all. I looked in the mirror and I hated what I saw and I just, I saw no redemption and I saw everyone I hurt and things I never said I'd do, I, I've done and more and I just, I hated myself and I saw no way out and um, I did, I wrote the note, I wrote to my son, so I wrote a letter to my ex-wife and, and uh, last ditch effort, I called my best friend and left a message, and it was Easter Sunday of last of our summer, and uh, all I left on his phone was, hey man, I made it till Easter, and uh, I was in the garage of uh, my kid's house, and um, they were being put to bed, I just didn't see the next day, I came to a point where I could not I could not go any further with the way I was living, and I didn't see any way out. So this was it. 
And so I got the ladder out, and there's an extension cord, and I wrapped the extension cord around the rafter, made a little knot, and I, I pulled on it to make sure it was tight. And I, I climbed up the ladder, and I put it around my neck, and I prayed. And I said, God, if you want me to live, you need to stop me. You need to send someone in. You need, I need angels. I need my kids to run in. I need the phone to ring. Do something or I'm going. And I waited. And he said, go. What? Really? He said, yeah, if this is really what you want to do, <laughs> you've been doing what you wanted to do for the last 10 years. You think I'm going to stop you now? Go ahead. If this is what you want to do, I am not going to stop you. But let me tell you this. If you take the first step down from the ladder, I'll be with you every other step of the way. And here I am. So, this piece... Love. 